today we are going to talk about something that happened in the Europa League. We are going to talk about how the run of Leverkusen in the Europa League has been. This year, Leverkusen has managed to beat the previous record and become the team with the longest unbeaten record of 51 matches. But not everything has been easy. Let's take a look at the most important matches. This is the clash against Korobag, one team that surprised a lot with their play. The match starts and Korobag are playing very well. Then they score the first goal. Not long after they score again, it is 2-0 against Leverkusen. But Leverkusen managed to score one by words at the 70 minute. The whole 90 minutes are up and it looks like Korobag are ending Leverkusen's unbeaten run. But then a Leverkusen player takes the ball. He squares it to Schick and he heads it. It's a goal. The match ends and Leverkusen have managed to edge it. The statistics are very even a bit on Korobag's favor. It's the second leg of this Europa League tie. The match starts and it looks like Leverkusen are playing to score. They have some close calls. But the first half end with no goals. Early in the second half, Korobag scores one and then another it looks like they will be able to go through. In the 72nd minute Frimpong scores to give Leverkusen hope. The rest of the 90 minutes happened and Leverkusen have been pushing but no goal. They are with the ball in just outside the penalty area. Grimaldo crosses the ball to shake. He heads it and it's a goal. 2-2 and the unbeaten and Europa League dream continue. Not long after Korbag don't look that solid anymore and is Palacios with the ball who throws it to Schick. Schick heads it, and another goal. They will not go to extra time. It's Leverkusen through. The match was complete domination by Leverkusen, with 4.3 expected goals, of which almost 2 in the first half and 10 big chances. Now, it's the semi-finals. In the quarter-final, Leverkusen won an easy tie against West Ham and they also managed to win 2-0 in this first leg. It's the first half and it's incredible how the match is yet without goals it has been all attack. Roma's goalkeeper Svilar is having a stellar performance. Right before the end of the first half is Paradis with a penalty who makes it 1-0. In the second half another penalty for Roma converted by Leandro Paredes. It's the minute 82 and currently the match will have to go to extra time and Leverkusen will lose their unbeaten. But Frimpong is on a corner to make something happen. Svalar fails to take the ball making a huge mistake. The ball hits Mancini's shoulder and it goes in, it's a goal and Leverkusen are currently going through. After that goal Leverkusen have been defending the match not caring much about losing the unbeaten. But is Stanisic with the ball in the last minute of the game. He dribbles past the defender and shots. It O Leverkusen managed to score in the last minute to qualify to the final and to maintain the unbeaten. This was a close match that is rightly won by Leverkusen, who created many chances. Also with this win, they are now 49 games unbeaten and being the club with the longest run in Europe. It's the final. Leverkusen against Atalanta. The match is starting and Atalanta is going all out on attack. Zapacosta crosses the ball. The ball is not touched by the player and goes to Lukman. Lukman shots. And it's a goal. Leverkusen are visibly uncomfortable and struggling to get the ball out. And Lukman manages to get the ball. Lukman make a dribble and shots. It's a goal. The rest of the half has gone and Leverkusen need two goals to get back into the final. But this seems unlikely. Sakamaka takes the ball after an attacking attempt and goes up the pitch. There he finds Lukman running and passes him the ball. Lukman takes the ball and dribbles past a defender. Then he shots. And it's a goal. Hack trick for Lukman and three for Atalanta. The match ends and although the statistics saying it was a tight match Leverkusen didn't look well. Atalanta win the Europa League and the dream is over for Leverkusen. If you have enjoyed this story leave a like and subscribe and tomorrow we will analyze the match of Lukman more in depth. Hope you liked it and here are some videos you might enjoy.